gives me great pleasure to welcome you here. Uh, and uh, I'm always moved by our opening. Uh, one of the things that all of you have to treasure is the fact that you live in a country where you may seek your own destiny and you decide and no one else decides what you wish to be when you grow up. Uh, I must tell you that uh, some of the outstanding persons on the planet uh, had ideas. Bill Gates had an idea and left college and he's the wealthiest person on the planet and is helping others with his wife, helping others in Africa to seek their destinies. That's waiting for you. The Tesla automobile was designed by a young man who left college in his, I'm not suggesting you leave college, by the way, when you get there, <laughs> but he left in his, uh, in his sophomore year as well, at the age of 26. And he has designed a magnificent automobile, the Tesla. And if you haven't seen it, look for it. Go to uh, Jeff Faust, the Week in Space Review, last week, I think it was. And there was an article that showed the picture of the Tesla. Why? Because that young man today is sending another vehicle to the International Space Station. And believe it or not, that's the hope of this country right now because that those vehicles will be able to take our astronauts to the International Space Station. Right now, as a nation, we don't have a, such a vehicle. Our shuttles are in the museums. And we pay this, Russia from $20 million to $60 million per astronaut to get them up there and back. We should do that. You should do that. And so we're relying on you now to come up with ideas. And one of the outstanding idea persons in, on this campus is our next speaker, Dr. John Sprague. Dr. Sprague knows well what I'm talking about in terms of his experience. He doesn't look it as he's sitting there because he's quiet, but I don't know how he got here on time. He told us he was not, and boy, he's a miracle maker and we're grateful that he's here and here when he is uh, and the time he is. He's a fighter pilot. And uh, he welcomes you. And uh, he speaks from 40,000 feet of experience. Dr. John Sprague, the president of Bristol Community College. Well, thank you, James, for that innovative introduction. Uh, good, good evening, everyone. Welcome to Bristol Community College. This is an honor for us to uh, uh, host the, the event itself last Saturday and this award ceremony tonight. It's something that we're very proud of, and uh, we want to encourage these contacts and uh, partnerships. And in speaking of that tone, I, I just want to mention something to you, uh, uh, not really to have to do with me, but what I did uh, in the last hour or so. At um, 6 o'clock, I spoke and welcomed our, just across the campus, our uh, Academic Entrepreneurial Center Award Night. And uh, there is where we have people with innovative ideas, creative ideas, uh, who uh, need some help with support and uh, sometimes you can translate a creative idea, and you need help translating it into the rough and tumble business world. And, uh, and so, so that was a wonderful experience for me. And then I jumped in my car, I had a run down to the superintendent's office where we had a, pr a primary meeting about uh, early college, setting up early college uh, so that high school students could come to Bristol Community College while attending high school. And uh, at the end of the 13th grade, uh, leave with a high school diploma as well as a college associate's degree. Uh, and then I'm back here uh, for this event, 
and I hear Dr. Pelletier and his great uh, leadership that he has given to this science fair, speaking about innovation and creativity. And you see the theme that runs through this is the, uh, the idea of uh, innovation, creativity, uh, education promoting that and serving as a vehicle. And that's exactly what we've tried to do tonight uh, and last Saturday and every year uh, under Dr. Pelletier's leadership uh, the, to provide these opportunities for you uh, to open up some of the things that are inside of you uh, to work in groups or individuals and to bring forth this creativity that this country uh, so badly needs in the science and math and technology and engineering fields. So I welcome you. Uh, we have a wonderful night tonight. We're going to celebrate excellence. No matter what the title of the, uh, of the award, uh, we're celebrating everyone's excellence tonight. And I thank you all for participating. And thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sprager. I uh, feel uh, humble in welcoming you uh, in the name of uh, the Dean of the Division of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering, Dr. Sarmad Saman. Uh, he uh, sends his apologies for not being here. Uh, but again, whatever happens in the Division of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering happens because uh, he provides the catalyst, the positive catalyst for things to happen. Uh, and uh, you should know that. If you go up to the office uh, on the second floor of L Building, uh, you'll find that uh, a bevy of activity. Uh, and uh, someday, when you are inclined, not next week, because uh, everyone uh, around here uh, I think is celebrating St. Patrick's Day, but they have the week off, and uh, they're headed south, you know, and you can understand with the temperature at 23 degrees Fahrenheit why they're headed south. Uh, but they've worked hard, and uh, they deserve a break. Um, so in the name of Dr. Uh, Saman, uh, I welcome you, uh, and in the name of uh, the members of the Division of Mathematics, Science, and Engineering, and all of the members of the faculty and staff, uh, at Bristol Community College, I welcome you. It is particularly significant that part of the underwriting of this activity uh, is uh, done so by uh, the Bristol Community College Foundation, a group of uh, public spirited persons in the community and on campus who provide the wherewithal for us to be able to do the kinds of things that happen, including last Saturday when you performed in a stellar manner. Uh, I had astronomy class today. So in a stellar manner, uh, you're stars. And uh, uh, we want to be sure that uh, uh, we recognize the fact that uh, the uh, Bristol Community College Foundation is extremely generous uh, in supporting uh, this activity. To begin our awards, and I have the great pleasure of chairing, I think the, they just want to get me out of G building on last Saturday so they can do something uh, uh, efficiently and expeditiously. Uh, and my uh, task uh, is, uh, was and continues hopefully to be, uh, to chair the f forum, the science forum. And I am always edified when I hear uh, members of uh, the neophyte scientists, you, uh, make presentations and then expose yourselves to questions. Uh, and so it's appropriate that we recognize uh, those members of uh, uh, the science fair neophyte scientists, uh, that we recognize them by uh, assigning uh, the first, the, the forum awards. So and each person who participated in the forum uh, will receive a certificate of participation. You can frame it, put it on your wall, and uh, it's, it, is, it is indicative of your ability to stand on your feet and express yourselves and express yourselves well and respond to questions. And everyone had to respond to a question because if no one else had a question, I did. And if you were there, 
you know that. So we'll, I will get the certificates for the forum awards and uh, we'll uh, move ahead. The first recipient of a certificate uh, for uh, participation in the science forum, uh, and I'll read this to you. It says, uh, Rensselaer, BCC, Region 3 Science Fair Committee. You should know why Rensselaer is on here, because they uh, uh, donate, they give uh, a scholarship uh, worth about $20,000, $25,000, uh, depending upon what they say it's worth. And so the Rensselaer BCC Region 3 Science Fair Committee, and this is for minds ahead of their time. This is to certify that the person, <clears throat> in this case, Salima Amiji, is hereby awarded the Forum Certificate of Participation uh, at the Massachusetts Region 3 Science Fair on this 13th day of March 2014 in recognition and approved by the Committee of Judges and confirmed by the president of Massachusetts Region 3 Science Fair, and the forum director, and it's the same guy, Pelletier, in both cases. <laughs> uh, so, Salima, if you're here, would you come up, please, and receive your certificate? Salima. All right. The next recipient is Luke Bartel. Luke, would you come up and receive your certificate? Why don't you stay there for a while? Okay, good. You know. The next recipient is Anesha Baumik. Uh, if I pronounce that correctly, I hope if you're here, you accept my apologies for mispronunciation. Thank you. The next is. Next recipient is Anne Marie Brillant. Anne Marie, are you here? Yeah, yeah. Ah, wow, good. Nice scarf. And uh, the next recipient is Elizabeth Brillant. Elizabeth, are you here? We're sitting together. <laughs> yes. Another nice guy. And this is to certify that Mary Carroll is hereby awarded this forum certificate of participation. Mary Carroll, are you here? Would you come up and receive your certificate, please? The next recipient is Robert Cody. Robert, are you here? Bob? jacket. That's equanimity, you know. The next recipient is Riley Cusick. Riley, are you, if you're here, would you come up and get your certificate, please? The next recipient is Summit Day. Would you come up? There you are. Good. Nice shirt. When I, when I see a student with a nice shirt or jacket or sweater, I say, gee, nice shirt. And then I say, what size is it? And they look back and they say, well, we could share, you know. The next recipient of the Forum Certificate of Participation is Alexander Demirs. Alexander, are you here? <clears throat> The next recipient is Akansha Despande. Akansha, are you here? Good. You look as if you've just been at a... 
<laughs> no, uh, just a, it turns into a fashion show. <clears throat> the next recipient is Noah Dorr. Noah. Amazing what vitamins do. The next recipient is Mitchell Green. Mitchell? The next recipient of the form certificate of participation is Mahika Gupta. Mahita? The next recipient is Victoria Caliz. Victoria? Very good. She also came from the fashion show. And the certificate of participation for the forum is uh, presented to Naman Madan. There he is. Pretty good. Thank you. Nice glasses. The next recipient is Ethan Messier. Ethan? I don't know if you've noticed, but the president has a nice shirt and tie on. What size is it? The next recipient is Samir Pasumarti. Nice green color for Monday. Wow, cool. Very nice. The next recipient of the Forum Certificate of Participation is Dave Plateau. David. <laughs> Kyle Rule is the next recipient of the Forum Certificate of Participation. Kyle, would you come up and receive your certificate, please? The next recipient is Austin Quintal. Austin. There, is. there you go. Very good. Well done. What what is this? What does this say? Oh, New England Christian Academy. Uh, I was I was told that New England Christian Academy as an entity will not be with us uh, next year. We wish them very well, and we thank them and applaud their participation in the fair over the years. <clears throat> the next recipient is Skylar Samanika. Skylar? Rebecca Sarkeesian is the next recipient of a forum certificate of participation. We hope all those flowers in your dress uh, soon bloom because uh, yesterday was almost in the 60s uh, Fahrenheit. Today, as I wrote, came in, was 23s. But tomorrow, and I've seen some robins as you have probably, and they're saying, why did we come back so early? And all of the snowbirds are staying down in Florida, and uh, members of our faculty uh, were rushing out the door today to get their planes to head south. So that, and, and, it, uh, and a well-deserved vacation, by the way. The next recipient is Richard Torres. Richard? Good. I 
lifestyle. This is Cuss Middle School in Fall River. By the way, you should know that the Cuss Middle School uh, uh, students visited the campus uh, two weeks ago Friday and uh, had tours so that uh, uh, if you have a thought uh, in your school of uh, before you decide, you know, uh, before you get to high school, before you decide not to go to college, come visit us. We'll try to clinch your uh, thought process so you come to one of the best of the 15 community colleges uh, in the country uh, right here at Bristol Community College. So we'd like to show you, we'd like to put our best foot forward. Uh, that's a commercial. Now we'll go back to the program. And the last, but certainly not the least, uh, it just so happens that the last name begins with a W. I always tell my students when I take role, next time around, be sure your name is not Aruda, but maybe it could be Wilkinson. So Delaney Wilkinson, would you come up and receive your award? Okay. Let's give a rousing round of applause to all of the recipients. Thank you to Dr. Spraga as well for helping. Uh, now, every year uh, we have uh, the United States Navy aboard. And uh, as usual in his own inimitable and fine fashion, uh, Walter Pepere will make a uh, presentation. And uh, I must tell you, and I, well, here we are. Okay. Uh, Bonnie, are you gonna join? Okay. Thank you again, Dr. Pelletier. It's always a pleasure to be here. Um, I've been doing this now at, at least 10 years, so, um, and it's wonderful to see the students and um, their parents here on such a cold New England day. In, so, again, good evening. I have, I am, am Walter Paper. I'm with the Naval Undersea Warfare Center in Newport. I'm a scientist there. Um, I have the pleasure to be joined today by Lieutenant, Command, Lieutenant Commander Bonnie Bauer, a naval aviator with the Office of Naval Research. <clears throat> and once again, it's a pleasure and honor for us to be here to present the Naval Science Awards on behalf of the United States Navy and Marine Corps. The Office of Naval Research has relentlessly pursued science and technology. Research initiatives taken by naval scientists and engineers has enabled the extremely capable naval forces that we depend upon today. Um, among some of the things that the Office of Naval Research has done over the years is a lot of the technologies that we use day to day, not only in the Navy, but in everyday use. So you scientists, young scientists, as you, as you grow up and continue your education and your careers, you, will, you can contribute to the wealth of this great nation through your contributions in science. So the, so the seeds that you plant today in some of your projects, who knows where it's going to lead. We value and respect the scientists and engineers that work with us at the universities, private industry, and locally at the Naval Undersea Warfare Center and the Naval Education and Training Center. Thanks to these indiv individuals, we have the best Navy in the world. On Saturday, we really did enjoy coming again to hear about your projects, talk to you in person, have a few laughs. It, you, you, you young people were awesome. It was thank you very much. It's always rewarding. I look forward to it every year. And with that, I'm here now to present and recognize 10 students with Naval Science Awards. Please obviously come forward when I call out your name. <laughs> We'll go from there. Okay, so our first set of awards for the United States Navy is the Naval Undersea Warfare Center's Innovation Awards. Uh, these were awarded to four 
um, projects uh, for their outs what we consider to be innovative ideas and in innovative in science and engineering and technology. The first one goes to the project entitled Can Sound Measure Distance by Evan Amaral of Holy Trinity School. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Our next award is a team project. And it is to, it's for the project entitled Extinguishing Light by Bailey Mello and Abigail Neely from Taunton High School. Our next innovation award, How Hovercrafts Work, by Benjamin P. Resendi of Holy Name School. Our final Newick Innovation Award is being presented to the Mystery of Muscle Hyperplasia by Brandon Suarto of Taunton High School. <laughs> Gee, I thought we were gonna bat a thousand on these, everyone here, but eh, it's okay. The next set of awards is the United States Navy Marine Corps Distinguished Achievement Awards. Um, one small note on this, the award for, the, for these, we have, a junior division award and then a senior division uh, exhibits. Now the junior division awards are a medallion and a certificate of achievement. However, because of last year's budget sequestration, <laughs> um, <laughs> the, the funding was delayed um, to the Office of Naval Research, so hence the awards are delayed. Welcome to our world. Uh, so, um, what's going to happen is for the ONR awards, uh, they will be sent here to Bristol Community College. Bristol Community College will notify your schools of, of, for the award recipients and then to get the awards to your school and then your school will get the award to you. So uh, the best thing is sit tight, um, hopefully they'll be coming before you get to college. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, so the medallion and certificate of achievement in the outstanding junior division exhibits, the first award goes to temperature, surface foliage, and vernal pools, Mitchell Green of Foxborough Charter School. Our next award recipient is Let's Go Solar, The Power of the Sun, Victoria Kalish from St. Francis Xavier School. Our next award, 11 million, a machine to count stamps. Isabel Coran, Foxborough Charter School. Our final junior division exhibit award goes to the effect of shape on the efficiency of solar modules. Rebecca Sarkeesian from St. Mary's Catholic School. So our final set of awards is the United States Navy Marine Corps Distinguished Achievement Award for the Outstanding Senior Division Exhibits. These recipients will win a $50 gift certificate, we haven't quite figured out to what, um, a medallion and a certificate of achievement. So our first recipient is Fluid Aerodynamics Christopher Chow, Bishop Fian High School.
And our final award, this makes me really feel sorry for all you young ladies out there after I saw this award. It's called Stiletto Stress. <laughs> Amy Santos from Taunton High School. <laughs> Once again, thank you all for your wonderful work and love talking to all of you. Congratulations. And I will not make the mistake that I made a few years ago in taking <laughs> Dr. Pelletier's program. It stays right on the podium. Thank you all, Dr. Pelletier. I'll see you next year. I hope so, yes. <laughs> thank you. Why don't we give a standing ovation to the United States Navy as they leave. And ladies, Notice the person who made the awards and look at what the, the uniform does to you. So go Navy. Again, let's not let them leave in silence. There are a number of memorial awards that are donated by uh, one of our stellar professors uh, in biology uh, who is now uh, working in the community, uh, seeing to it that uh, uh, everyone has his or her uh, due in terms of uh, the mechanisms the, of, the, of the community. Uh, Dr. Greg Maravellis uh, will present uh, the Police Officer Raymond Curry Memorial Award, the Naval Commander Arthur Randall Memorial Award, uh, the Pamela and Wayne Angtill Memorial Award, and the Stephen J. Gould Memorial Merit Award. And he will describe these as well. Uh, Dr. Maravellis. Thanks, Dr. Pelletier, and thank all of you. It's always a happiness to, uh, to be here among you and an honor for me. Uh, I'm going to be assisted uh, this evening by campus police officer Ralph Desjardins. <laughs> I have four junior division awards to present, and each of them is offered in memory of, with one exception, each of them is offered in memory of a person who has been associated with Bristol Community College. Uh, these people are no longer here in the flesh. Their physical hearts have ceased, but their spirit continues. These are people who did not have office title, prestige, power, or any of the things that we recognize as cachet. All they did was make your life better on campus every second of every minute that you were with them. They raised your spirit, they lifted your mood, they made it a joy for you to be among them. And they did all this just by being themselves. It's a happiness for me to present these awards in their memory and honor. The first of them is the police officer 
Raymond Curry Memorial Award. And it's to a young lady from St. Joseph's School who, whose project is called, It's a Bird, It's a Plane, No, It's a Butterfly. And she explored the dynamics of flight and did so in a very enchanting and sub substantial way. It's a joy for me to present this award to Eliana da Cunha of St. Joseph's School. As with before, I'm asking each of the recipients to stand here for a couple of minutes just so that you can have the, uh, the pleasure of applauding them again at the end, which they deserve. The second award is called the Naval Commander Arthur Randall Memorial Award for Merit in Science. Arthur Randall was not a faculty member or an employee of BCC. He was a humble book buyer. I say humble, he was very unassuming. But during World War II, he spent three years as communications officer aboard a warship in the Pacific Ocean. Now, the Pacific Ocean is not very Pacific even in times of peace. During times of war, when you're in the crosshairs of enemy aircraft and sea craft, and to be there for three years is um, not the world's most enviable occupation, but he did it, he did it with honor. And in later years, when you would ask him what he did during World War II, he would simply say, I was in service. And that's all. You could not get much more out of him about that. I'm very happy and honored to present the Naval Commander Arthur Randall Memorial Award to a young woman from St. Francis Xavier School who had a project called What Burger? She will, it was a very charming and again, a substantial project. For further information, I will have to re refer you to the recipient of this award from St. Francis Xavier School, Emily Lemieux. Next award, named after Pamela Anctiel and Wayne Anctiel, longtime employees of Bristol Community College. Pamela was a clerk, Wayne was a maintainer, two of the most conscientious people and two of the nicest. I don't know how much time that I spent talking and joking and laughing with Pam and Wayne if we had more time, I, I could tell you a lot of stories, and I think you'd love them all. And I think you would have loved Pam and Wayne, too. The award tonight goes to a young man from the New England Christian Academy who spotted a problem with Newton's law of gravity. And he explored it, and he did it with some hard work and a lot of insight and did an absolutely wonderful job. So I am proud to present the Pamela and Wayne Anctil Memorial Award for Merit in Science to Luke Bartell of the New England Christian Academy.
The last of the four awards is the only one that is named in honor of a person who is not associated with BCC. It's called the Stephen J. Gould Memorial Award for Merit and Humor in Science. The humor doesn't have to be a shoulder banger or a knee slapper. It's something that should arise from the body of the project itself. It can be subtle. And the project also has to be a good project. There were several that fit this description. I had the task of having to select from among them. And the one that I focused on is the one that I'll present in just a moment, but I want to say a word about Stephen J. Gould. He was a paleontologist, that is to say a student of fossils, an evolutionary biologist, author, teacher, and baseball fan. And he wrote about all those subjects. He's the only person here whom I did not know personally, but I did have the pleasure of seeing him give one of his lectures oh, a couple of decades ago. Uh, he was as enchanting in person as a speaker as he was in his writing. He was clear in his explanations. He brought out the humor of a situation where it was appropriate. He had all of us laughing, and he laughed with us. And he laughed not with a snicker, from, but from the soles of his feet right on up. Man of great good humor. Uh, and incidentally, for those of you who remember the 1986 World Series and who uh, have demonized the name of Bill Buckner, once you read Stephen Jay Gould's book about baseball, you may have a little bit more sympathy for Buckner. Anyway, the Stephen Jay Gould Memorial Merit Award for humor and merit in science, I'm proud and happy to present to a young lady from Westport Middle School for the project called Edible Current. You didn't know that current was edible, did you? Well, it isn't. But did you realize that some of our more common fruits and vegetables do conduct electrical currents? Not the kind that will zap you, but currents of low wattage that can be measured. And she detected this, and she measured them. And she produced a very thoughtful and very lovely project. So I'm happy and proud to present the Stephen J. Gould Award to Miranda Goldison of Westport Middle School. These are the living monuments. Yes, please applaud them. Luke Bartel, Ariana Petunia, Emily Lemieux, Miranda Goldison. gives me, thank you, Dr. Maravellis. I don't know if, there you are. <laughs> gives me great pleasure, by the way, 
Uh, there are some persons who look very uncomfortable standing over there. There are seats in the balcony, by the way, so you can be comfortable. And there are some seats in the middle of the, of the, uh, uh, the orchestra, uh, so-called. And please, uh, make yourselves comfortable so that you can enjoy the program. Uh, it gives me great pleasure to uh, present to you uh, uh, the Secretary of the Massachusetts Region 3 Science Fair Committee, uh, Rosemary Rack, and uh, Rosemary will read uh, uh, the names and uh, schools of the recipients and the title uh, of the projects. Uh, Rosemary? Good evening. The first honorable mention winner is from Holy Name School, Angela Brillantes. Her project is They're Not Sticking, Frustration. Our next honorable mention winner is from Ben Franklin Charter School, Caitlin Broyles. The next winner is from Cuss Middle School, Anders L. Chalias. From St. James St. John School, Patrick Clark. From St. Stanislaus School, Robert F. Cody. And Robert's project was, Do Geomagnetic Storms Affect GPS? From St. James St. John School, a team project, Jack Codero and Gilbert Souza. From Ben Franklin Charter School, Kaylee De Simone. From Ben Franklin Charter School, Haley Dion. From Friedman Middle School, Kaylee Fagan. Kaylee's project is How Does Cholesterol Affect Blood Flow? From Parker Middle School, Hassan A. Farahat. <laughs> Hassan's project was, which football helmet protects your head better? From St. James St. John School, Isabella C. Freitas. From St. Joseph School, Samantha R. Furtado. From Holy Name School, Lindsay A. Honeycutt. Samantha? Yes, Samantha. Samantha's project was Starlight, Star Bright, and Lindsay's project, Color and Fabric. From Case Junior High School, Kimberly Howard. From Taunton High School, eighth grade, Haley Medeiros. And Haley's project was titled, Keep It Safe. 
From Holy Name School, Caitlin Moore. And Caitlin studied crystal growth. From St. Mary's Catholic School, Sarah R. Nagel. From Case Junior High School, Sarah Orton. From Westport Middle School, Clay A. Pappas. From St. Mary's Catholic School, Drew R. Price. And Drew's project was, What Material Absorbs Oil the Best? From Taunton High School, eighth grade, Alexandra K. Riendo. Alexandra studied the Stroop effect, how our brain actually works. From St. Stanislaus School, Michaela A. Saravo. And from Taunton High School, eighth grade, Alice Wong. Alice's project was entitled Candles. Let's congratulate our honorable mention winners. It is my pleasure to uh, introduce you to uh, Professor Robert Rack, by the way, who is a judging chair. Uh, and uh, Bob will read uh, uh, the honorable mention awards, uh, the recipients in the senior division. Bob? Well, good evening. Our first award for honorable mention in the senior division goes to a student from Taunton High School, Zachary P. Albert. There he is. Oh. And his project is entitled The Oxidation of Shoes. Our next honorable mention award goes to a team project from Bishop Stang High School, Sarah Carney and Helena Shea. Yes. Our next award goes to a student from Somerset Berkeley High School, Corinne Corville. Our next award goes to a student from New England Christian Academy, Ruth DeLeone. And her project was entitled, See the Light by Making a Cell Phone Spectrophotometer.
Our next award goes to a student from Somerset Berkeley High School, Nicholas Deming. And he also received the Dr. Dion Award, which is a plaque and $25 for the best dental project. Title, Toothbrush, Friend or Foe. Our next project goes to a Bishop Fian High School student, Matthew M. Ellis. And his project was The Effectiveness of Sunscreen. And he also receives $50 for an outstanding project in the area of optics from the New England section of the Optical Society of America. Our next award goes to a student from Bishop Fian High School, Kathleen A. Garrity. Our next award goes to a student from Foxborough Charter School, Alyssa Haddad. Our next award goes to a Taunton High School student, Jacob R. Lawrence. His project, Schools Grow More Than Just Minds. Our next award, again to a Taunton High School student, Ryan A. Leeson. His project was entitled Machines of the Future. Our next award goes to a student from Bishop Fian High School, Sydney Machka. Our next award goes to a team project from Somerset Berkeley High School, going to Kelsey Mills and Brianna Yarena. Their project was Crickets in a Box. Our next award goes to a student from Foxborough Charter School, Serena Spoladoro. Our next award goes to a student from Case High School, Evan M. Surrett. And his project was entitled, The Speed of Light, Does a Medium's Density Affect It? He also receives a plaque and $30 for an outstanding physics-related project from the UMass Dartmouth Physics Alumni Council. And we also have uh, two additional awards. Uh, this one goes to a student from Cuss Middle School. Her name is Faith M. Cronister. And her project was you really do need wings to fly, sorry. And she also receives a plaque and $30 for an outstanding physics-related project from the UMass Dartmouth Physics Alumni Council. And that was a special award she received. And we have another special award from the New England Christian Academy, Mackenzie J. Doyle. And he also won a, the Bad Dog Tools Innovation Award, which is a $100 award. 
and his title was The Farmer's Almanac. And so let's have a round of applause for our senior division honorable mention. Thanks, Bob. A rousing round of applause as the person leaves. Uh... I had a thought as I watched these young neophyte scientists coming up on the stage. Future's in good shape. The next category uh, of awards is uh, the third place, uh, are the third place awards in the junior division. And Christine Bellavance, uh, a member of the committee, uh, will read the, the names of the recipients, their uh, school affiliation, and uh, the title of the project. Kristen? Our third recipient is from St. John the Evangelist School, Salima M. Amiji. From Westport Middle School, Lindsay C. Barraby. What's your reaction with a distraction? From Case Junior High School, Michael R. Bisbano. Helmet padding materials. From St. Stanislav School, Landon G. Botello. The effect of bridge design on weight bearing capacity. From Espirito Santo School, Elizabeth Brillante, Breaking Point. From Holy Name School, Braden Buston. From Westport Middle School, Bailey Clements. Warm for the winter. From Foxborough Charter School, Sara DeFonti. From Cuss Middle School, Jacqueline Dumont. From Taunton Catholic Middle School, Matthew Fox. From St. Francis Xavier School, Victoria Kalis. Let's go solar, the power of the sun. From St. Mary's Catholic School, Brianna Kelly. Which works better to alleviate gas, home remedy or OTC? From North. Excuse me. Don't stop applause. From North Attleboro Middle School, Mariah Lim. Yep. Freeze, investigating the member fact. From, 
from Holy Name School, Faith Murphy. Yep. Comparing electrolytes and liquids. From Taunton High School, eighth grade, Demi C. Riondo. From St. Mary's Catholic School, Lauren Salom. And from New England Christian Academy, Daniel Silva. The Diabetes Sugar Challenge. Our third place winners in the junior division. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kristen. By the way, thank you to Dr. Sprague for all of his work here. He's been, uh, he, he didn't get here late, he got here on time, and yet he's doing yeoman's work, wow. That's great. The third place uh, recipients in the, the senior division uh, will be uh, read by uh, uh, the representative of Massachusetts Region 3 Science Fair uh, to the uh, State Science Fair, uh, Alex Hasberger. Alex? Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. The third place senior division winners from Somerset Berkeley High School, Jacob Ayers. <laughs> Jacob has also won an award, a certificate of recognition and medallion for the most outstanding exhibit in metal materials engineering science from the ASM Material Education Foundation for his project Liquid Cloth. <laughs> from Somerset Berkeley High School, a team project Jillian Berube and Rebecca Foley. for their project, Yeast Busters. From New England Christian Academy, Jillian Braga. Jillian has also won two special awards a certificate for outstanding achievement for the best project exhibiting the area of plant or animal in vitro biology or tissue culture from the Society for In Vitro Biology and the New England branch of the American Society for Microbiology $100 award for outstanding microbiology project, DNA Damage. From North Attleboro High School, Victor Kai. From Bishop Fian High School, Christopher Chow. Christopher has also won an award from the section of the Optical Society of America. From Bishop Fian High School, Marissa Fontaine. From Somerset Berkeley High School, Samuel Goodwin. Samuel has also won the RICO Sustainable Development Award, a certificate for his outstanding project addressing environmental responsibility, lead detection. 
from New England Christian Academy, Ethan Messier. Also the winner of two special awards, the BCC Rensselaer Region 3 Science Fair Committee Award and the Eileen T. Farley Science Writing Award for his project, Sound Charge, Utilization of Sound Waves to st Stimulate a Piezoelectric Effect. Can I just add, uh, the, uh, can I just add something? Please? Certainly. The certainly. Eileen Farley Award is in honor of the previous president of Bristol Community College who served so well and with great distinction for 22 years here at Bristol. From Somerset Berkeley High School, John Myron. From Bishop Fian High School, Devin Payson. Two special awards awarded to Devon, the Mu Alpha Theta Award and the New England Section of the Optical Society of America Award for his project Aerodynamics in Ice Hockey. From the New England Christian Academy, Austin Quintal. For his project Deep Knee Bends, Measuring Knee Stress. <laughs> From Bishop Fian High School, Catherine Sachs. And from Bishop Fian High School, Kirsten Wade. These are our third place senior division winners. Congratulations. Congratulations. The second place recipients in the junior division uh, will be read by the president of this college, uh, Dr. John Sprague. Dr. Sprague. The second place junior division from Norton Middle School. Amnesia Baumek. Yep. There she is. Phytotoxicity of Household Detergents. And she also wins the BCC Rensselaer uh, Fair Committee Award for Excellence in Science of $75. From St. Joseph's School, Eliana de Cuna. Eliana de Cuna. It's a bird, it's a plane, no, it's a butterfly. And she also wins the Dr. John J. Sprague Award, $50, and a Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in a project related to aviation, aeronautics, or space. I want to give that myself. This is the first time that the Do Dr. John Sprague Award has been given uh, at a regional science fair in recognition of the great generosity, cooperation, uh, and uh, frankly, uh, financial support uh, of the college. And I would like to publicly thank Dr. Sprague for all of his good work and his yeoman work here tonight and uh, also to the, to the recipient. You're unique in that you are the first recipient, and I'm sure Dr. Sprague will watch you move through your career uh, for many, many, many years. Well, Thanks. <laughs> The next award goes to, uh, from St. Joseph's School, Logan Genero. 
Logan General. The project Power Kicks, the physics of martial arts. The next from St. Mary's Catholic School, Henry Gorin. Henry, there he is. What insulation works best? The next award from the Foxborough Charter School, Mitchell Green. Mitchell Green. Temperature, surface, foliage, and vernal pools. He also has won the uh, Professor Helen Conrad Lifetime Award in Science. The next award from Cuss Middle School, Christian Hutchins. Christian Hutchins, propeller diameter versus speed. It's also a winner of the John J. Sprague of $50 and a Certificate of Achievement for Excellence in a Project Related to Aviation, Aeronautics, or Space. Congratulations. Mitchell Green, Christian uh, Hutchins, Christian Hutchins, Christian Hutchins, Christian Hutchins. Who are you? I want to show you. Oh, oh that's it. Yeah. Oh, that's he. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Christian, oh. here it is. Okay. That's for you. And we have two of those. Okay. Wow. Congratulations. The next award from St. Francis Xavier School, Emily Lemieux. Emily, here she is. Her project is What Burger? And she also wins the U.S. Public Health Service Surgeon General's Award. From North Attleboro Middle School, Monica Nicola. Monica. Her project is the effect of temperature on mitosis rate. And she also wins the Mark G. Hoyle Memorial Science Award, uh, $50 and a plaque for the best project on AIDS, hemophilia, blood problems, or diseases of the body. North Attleboro Middle School, Shirobi Nandi. Shirobi, does your cereal have enough iron? Also from North Attleboro Middle School, Samir Pesamarthi. Samir, project is Fantastic Pendulums. And the Cuss Middle School, Brittany Pavo. Brittany, Project Wondering About Wood. St. Mary's Catholic School, Christian Precopio. Christian, his project, Talk or Text, A Driving Distraction. And from St. Francis Xavier School, Simonica Skylar. Monica Skylar. Her project, Heads Up.
Ladies and gentlemen, how about a hand for the award winner, second place junior division. Thank you very much. I will read uh, the second place recipients in the senior division. And uh, our first uh, uh, winner, winners are members of a team, Santiago Bernal and Noah Dorr. Their project uh, was titled Aerobic and Anaerobic Muscle Potential of the Greenland Shark. They are from Bishop's Tang High School. They, also, they are also the recipients of the David R. Vito Award in Micromolecular Biology, which includes a $100 for uh, an exhibit exemplifying the most in-depth micromolecular biological research. Congratulations for all of that. The next uh, second place uh, recipient in the senior division is Deborah Delaone uh, for a uh, project titled Testing for Genetic Modifications in Organic and Non-Organic uh, uh, Foods from New England Christian Academy. Uh, $300 for an outstanding project in food science, nutrition, agriculture, food microbiology food safety or food chemistry from the Institute of Food Technologists, New England chapter. I think some of these youngsters will need brinks on the way home. The, the next recipient is uh, Ramna A. Farahat. Uh, 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 project titled um, uh, Measuring the Amount of Vitamin C in Cooked and Uncooked Foods. Uh, from Taunton High School, uh, and Anna Amna also receives uh, the Bristol Community College Foundation Award, which is $100 for a project showing outstanding ingenuity and creativity. <clears throat> the next uh, recipient uh, is Catherine Gallison. Uh, this is a second place senior division award. The project is titled The Effects of Sediment Toxicity on Juvenile Grass Shrimp from Bishop Stang High School. Uh, yeah. Catherine also receives a certificate of outstanding achievement from the American Meteorological Society and $100 for an outstanding project from Garcia, Galuska, and D'Souza. The next recipient of a second place senior division award is uh, Mitchell W. Lavoy from Somerset Berkeley High School, a project titled The Role of Antacids in Raising pH. Okay. Mitchell also receives $250 from the Genzyme Corporation for an outstanding biotechnology or life science project. The next team award uh, uh, is uh, merited by Bailey A. Mello and Abigail N. Nahili, uh, a, title, a project titled Extinguishing Light from Taunton High School. Mm -hmm. This includes a certificate of and Engineering Association medallion for an outstanding exhibit in computer science, engineering physics, or chemistry from the Yale Science and Engineering Association Incorporated, uh, the BCC Rensselaer Region 3 Science Fair Committee Award, a plaque and $100 for an outstanding team project, and the Kenneth J. Perry Memorial Award, which includes $100 and a plaque 
for a Taunton project exemplifying outstanding research methods. And we should say that Ken Perry, uh, who was very much involved in the science forum before he passed away uh, by in playing basketball, fell and harmed himself. Um, so this, the Kenton J, Kenneth J. Perry Memorial Award is named by the committee in his honor. Uh, Bailey A. Mello and Abigail N. Nahili. <clears throat> and the last uh, recipient in the second place senior division uh, is Abigail Sands, uh, a project titled Ibrutinid, Is It the New Miracle Drug for Cancer Treatment from Taunton High School? <laughs> Abigail also received the Carol Desroches our Ann Memorial Award, which includes a $100 and a plaque for the best project on cancer or a related field. <laughs> the uh, assembled group, uh, members of the second place uh, uh, merit uh, recipients in the senior division. Uh, let's give them a rousing round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. And now we have a treat, uh, something unique, unusual. We've not done this before. And um, there is uh, about to be shown a uh, uh, brief um, video that will highlight uh, the Broadcom Foundation 2014, uh, which includes math, applied science, technology, and engineering for rising stars. The Broadcom Masters is the national competition for sixth, seventh, and eighth grade students who participate in the SSP affiliated science fairs. Our fair has the honor of selecting the top 10% of sixth, seventh, and eighth grade participants today to continue their journey to the national competition. Broadcom Masters nominees are invited to complete the online application and are eligible for valuable prizes and awards, including a $25,000 education award, iPads, STEM summer camp, science, technology, engineering, and math, summer camp, and more. Every student who applies online will receive a free Broadcom Masters t-shirt and is automatically entered to win an iPod Nano. Uh, this nomination is an honor and distinguishes these projects as among the top 10% in the nation. From the entrance, the top 300 semi-finalists will be selected and 30 finalists will be announced in September. Each finalist wins $500 and an all-expense paid trip to Washington, D.C. from October 24th to 29th for the Broadcom Masters Finals, where they will uh, compete for additional prizes. Additionally, in recognition of the importance of the contribution of schools and teachers to STEM education, science, technology, engineering, and math, and the project-based learning of Broadcom Masters competitors, each of the finalist schools receive $1,000, and teachers of semifinalists also receive special awards. So, Maestro, may we have the video? I think that's cool. I think that's very nice. Something to look forward to. <clears throat> the uh, 2014 Broadcom Foundation in math, applied science, technology, and engineering for rising stars, which includes a certificate of recognition, an invitation letter to complete uh, an online application for the national competition. Uh, the Massachusetts Region 3 Science and Engineering Fair recipients are, and would you come up so that we can uh, recognize you, please? Luke A. Bartell from New England Christian Academy. Onisha Bomek from Norton Middle School.
Hannah A. Blackwell from Friedman Middle School. Skylar Callahan from St. Joseph School. Mariella E. Kohollen from St. James St. John School. Summit Day from Foxborough Charter School. Mitchell R. Green from Foxborough Charter School. Shraddha L. Iyer from Ben Franklin Charter School. Isabel F. Coran from Foxborough Charter School. Naman Madan from Foxborough Charter School. <laughs> Rebecca A. Sarkeesian from St. Mary's Catholic School. and Christine A. Shrimp from St. John the Evangelist School. And now a rousing round of applause for our assembled Broadcom Masters. Be certain now that you apply online so that you can, we can watch you in the video next year. I would like to thank and recognize Sean, who is the manager of this whole facility and does an excellent job for his kindness in uh, presenting the video for us this evening. The first place recipients uh, in the junior division will be read by Rosemary Rack. Rosemary. Our first winner in the first place division is from New England Christian Academy for Newton's Nightmare, Luke A. Bartell. From Friedman Middle School for the project Which Potting Soil Brand Works Best, Hannah A. Blackwell. Hannah also wins the Earth Day Award, which is a $50 prize for a project which best exemplifies Earth Day environmental concerns. From St. Joseph's School for the project The Tree of Life II, Skylar Callahan. From St. James St. John School, How Thick Is Your Water? 
Mariella E. Koholan. From Foxborough Charter School, with the team project Keeping It Fresh, Sumit Day and Naman Madan. They will also win the BCC Rensselaer Region 3 Science Fair Committee Award, which is a plaque and $100 for an outstanding team project and $300 for an outstanding project in food science, nutrition, agriculture, food microbiology, food safety, or food chemistry from the Institute of Food Technologists, the New England chapter. From the Ben Franklin Charter School for the project TV testing, Shraddha L. Iyer. Shraddha will also receive the Bristol Community College Foundation Award, which is a $100 prize. From the Foxborough Charter School for the project 11 million, a machine to count stamps, Isabel F. Corrin. And Isabel will also receive a $100 prize from Bay Coast Savings Bank from St. Mary's Catholic School for the project The Effective Shape on the Efficiency of Solar Modules, Rebecca A. Sharkissian. <laughs> Rebecca will also receive the Certificate of Excellence for High Standards of Innovativeness and Scientific Excellence in the Geosciences from the Association for Women Geoscientists. And our last winner in the first place category is from St. John the Evangelist School, Determining Optimum Growing Conditions for Algae, Christine A. Shrimp. Christine also receives the Genzyme Corporation Distinguished Achievement Award, which is a $125 prize. Let's congratulate our first place winners in the junior division. Thank you, Rosemary Rack. And following Rosemary uh, as a presenter, is Robert Rack, who will uh, read uh, the, uh, as the judging chair, appropriately so, will read the uh, first place recipients in the senior division. Uh, Bob? And our first first place winner in the senior division is a student from Taunton High School, her project Triclosan, the snail's Achilles heel, Tess Cushing. Our second first place award winner comes from Case High School. Her project, the power output of hydroelectric generator prototypes, Emma L. Fiore. And Emma will also win the Certificate of Outstanding Achievement from the American Meteorolo Meteorological Society and also a $100 and a certificate for the best biophysics related project from the Biophysical Society. Our next first place Winner is from Taunton High School, the project Light to Heat Ratios on a Solar Panel, Hammy M. Hammy.
And the other awards are the Genius Olympiad from the Global Environmental Issues. It's a nomination for excellent work in the areas of ecology and biodiversity, environmental quality, resources and energy, or human ecology, and also a $100 for the, an outstanding energy-related project from Citizens for Citizens, Incorporated. At our next first place winner is from Taunton High School, the evident eutrophic threat, Noah R. Moniz. <laughs> Noah will also win the Genius Olympiad Global Environmental Issues, nomination for excellent work in the areas of ecology and biodiversity, environmental quality, resources and energy, or human ecology, and also the Earth Day Award, which is $100 for a project which best exemplifies the Earth Day environmental concerns. And our next first place award winner is from Taunton High School. The title of the project, Stiletto Stress, Amy Santos. And Amy will also win a plaque and a $30 for an outstanding physics-related project from the UMass Dartmouth Physics Alumni Council. And our last first place senior division award goes to a student from Taunton High School, the project The Mystery of Muscle Hyperplasia, Brandon K. Squato. And Brandon will also receive $100 for an outstanding health or nutrition related project from Citizens for Citizens Incorporated. So let's have a round of applause for our first place winners. <laughs> I'm told uh, that the uh, perhaps the reason for a number of Taunton uh, high school recipients not being here is apparently there is, and we didn't know that when we planned this, that there was a Mr. Taunton Award uh, activity tonight so that uh, uh, we apologize for uh, double scheduling here. The special recognition awards uh, for 2014, uh, I will read. Uh, by the way, uh, for all of you uh, parents, uh, supporters, um, neophyte scientists, um, awards booklets are available uh, at uh, when you exit uh, the theater. So you might like them as a keepsake. Uh, and uh, if you want, if you wish to, look over them, uh, as you might, I'm sure, and uh, uh, get some new ideas for uh, next year if you're going to be with us. Or if you're not going to be with us next year, we wish you the very best as a freshman in college because that's where you should be. The uh, first special recognition award uh, is uh, the uh, James William Pelletier Award, which is, an for, which is given to an outstanding project of the fair in each division. Uh, and in the uh, senior division, it, a plaque, no, sorry, in the senior division, a plaque and $300 uh, is awarded to Amy Santos for stiletto stress, and Amy is from Taunton High School. And it's a good thing she's not wearing stilettos tonight because she's been up and down several times to her credit. I'm, this one here? Yeah. I'm going to go backwards. The uh, James William Pelletier Award uh, uh, for uh, the junior division 
uh, goes to a student at St. James St. John School uh, with uh, a project titled How Thick Is Your Water, Mariella E. Koholm. The Tom Cahill Award, uh, and by the way, Tom Cahill was one of the pioneers of uh, the fair, uh, and uh, for him there was no time that was too great to devote to organizing the fair and seeing that it would move forward. Um, you should know, and, and it's an opportune for me uh, in Tom Cahill's name, uh, who is watching us, uh, uh, that uh, the fair committee is uh, not a very large committee. And they do, as you see, uh, the proof is in the pudding. Uh, the fair last Saturday uh, went like clockwork. This evening uh, was a most enjoyable activity. Uh, they even uh, work, if you will, uh, when they're off duty. Uh, in making presentations, and the reason they're involved in the fair is because of you. And I want you to know that, and it seems to me that they deserve a rousing round of applause from you. <clears throat> With that said, um, the recipient of the Tom Cale Award, uh, which includes a plaque and $150, uh, and an honorary plaque uh, to the, for the middle school, by the way, which must be returned uh, in order that we note on the plaque the recipient this year, the school this year, uh, and uh, then next year you have to bring it back uh, if uh, there's not a recipient from your school, hopefully there will be. So this year's recipient school is St. Joseph's School. And the project title is The Tree of Life to Skylar Callahan. I don't know if this uh, shows a trend, but uh, the uh, uh, high school uh, award for the, for, uh, in the Tom Cahill Award category is from Taunton High School, uh, which includes a plaque and $300, and again, an honorary plaque for the high school uh, for Project Triclosan, the Snail's Achilles Heel, uh, we are with stilettos and Achilles heels here. Uh, Tess Cushing. And I think that the Mr. Taunton has won out again. Um, as you know, there are uh, representatives from uh, the region that are sent to the International Science and Engineer Engineering Fair. And uh, this year, uh, we have uh, three uh, outstanding persons that we're going to send. Um, and uh, the, uh, from uh, Case High School, uh, the uh, International Science and Engineering Fair Region 3 representative uh, is, uh, uh, has a project titled The Power Output of Hydroelectric Generator Prototypes, Emma El Fiore. There are two other representatives, uh, one from Taunton High School, uh, 
uh, with a project title, Stiletto Stress, Amy Santos. <laughs> following the theme of stilettos, short walk. And uh, finally, uh, from Taunton High School, uh, Tess Cushing, Triclosan, the snail's Achilles heel. And I think if we recall that Tess is probably at the Mr. Taunton award ceremony. I'd like the uh, high school, uh, the, the uh, judging chair, Robert Rack, has just handed me this. It says, the high school students in first, second, and third, an honorable mention uh, place, go on to the state fair. Uh, and uh, uh, Kristen uh, will be here uh, to uh, uh, Bellevance. Uh, to uh, uh, give you directions. And for the middle school students, first, second, and third go to the state fair, uh, the middle school state fair. Uh, and you should see uh, Alex, who is, Al Alex, who is seated here as well. And uh, the International Science and Engineering Fair, you, you should see uh, Joanne. <clears throat> uh, so with all of that, uh, what I'd like you to do, the participants, I'd, I'd like you to stand, and I'd like you to turn around and face your supporters, your parents, and give them a good rousing round of applause. And while you're standing, I'd like them to stand and give you a rousing round of applause. I would like to thank all of the committee members uh, for their hard and diligent work. And I, in particular, would like to thank Dr. John Sprager for his presence here this evening and uh, his great assistance on stage. He didn't sit much. Uh, don't forget to see, if you're a high school student, first, second, and third, an honorable mention, you go to the state fair, see Kristen. For middle school students, first, second, and third, uh, they, you also go on to the uh, state fair and see Alex. And the International Science and Engineering Fair, uh, see Joanne. Thank you again. Drive carefully on the way home, stay warm.